in Gilbert, Arizona, uh, out here doing another ride. Um, so today I, I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys all the equipment that we use and uh, familiarize you, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, I'm carrying about 22 pounds of equipment with me when I go out on, uh, to, to film some of this stuff, capture some of this stuff. Um, so I kind of want to show you guys uh, all the stuff that goes in the pack, uh, what that 22 pounds adds up to, and then also the mounts on the bike and just kind of you know, let you see what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, so let's go check this out. All right, well, here's the gear. Um, helmet. <laughs> this is the pack. This is the Camelback Hog. Um, probably one of the best packs I've ever had. Uh, this thing holds a lot of stuff, so anybody that's ever had Camelback, um, you know how good they are. But uh, if you don't have one, you can uh, acquire one someday. These are, these are great packs. Um, what I'm wearing right now, so you can see this video, is uh, this is the little case for it, but the GoPro chesty. It's a chest strap uh, to uh, hold the camera basically right on the, right on your rib cage. Um, it's kind of a cool way of getting different effects and different angles. Um, uh, of course, the lifeboat goes everywhere with us. It's part of our project, so we car I carry these with me in case I meet somebody. I've been handing them out on the trail to people. It's been pretty cool. Um, over here, you can never, you can never uh, not have enough batteries. Um, so I've been buying batteries. Uh, GoPro's got uh, theirs and then uh, this other brand, Wasabi. Actually, these are good batteries. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find these on Amazon. Um, of course, uh, fuel, uh, gotta have the food. Um, we've been doing our audio separate. Uh, that's just because um, you just don't get that great of audio for, for um, vocal stuff with uh, GoPro, so we went with a Zoom, and then we've got a Shure um, SM93 uh, attached into that, which is actually running right now. It's recording us as we're filming this. Um, and a uh, little mini Gorilla tripod, got that, uh, made this. This is the interview stick, so basically, I made this uh, little pole um, so they could break down and go in the pack, so it's in two pieces. But there's a, there's a sleeve that actually, you can put this together in, uh, uh, make it longer so you can hold it out and actually get get the footage you want, but then it breaks down to go in the pack. A uh, little teddy bear that was given to me, uh, my ex-wife, it's gone everywhere with me. She gave it to me to uh, basically way back when I used to ride motorcycles and that uh, somehow just has managed to follow me everywhere in my life, so that, that guy, that's what he's all about. And then I've got a, uh, we've got the iPad um, with an Aut Otterbox uh, case on it. Uh, this is the, the new Gen 3 uh, iPad, uh, which is pretty great. Um, the reason we're carrying this around is the GoPros are going to start having Wi-Fi. Um, so once we get the Wi-Fi modules and they get the app um, all dialed in, which is supposed to be coming out this uh, next month, um, we should be uh, be able to control up to 50 cameras with the iPad uh, wirelessly, which is kind of cool. Um, let's step over here to the bike. Uh, here's, here's one of the mounts. It uh, basically, this is on a K-Edge which uh, I highly recommend these mounts. Uh, K-Edge makes really, really good uh, mounts that have no vibration. Um, we've gone through all different kinds of scenarios and uh, settled on these. So um, this is the, uh, the new GoPro HD Hero 2. We, uh, I run four of them uh, with me, um, sometimes just three, but uh, kinda, uh, it's kinda nice to have the different angles. So, um, and then I've also, if you look, under here, I've got one underneath the seat too. Um, so I can actually put a camera on that mount right there too. And then uh, down here on the forks, we're gonna be adding uh, some quick connects so that we can actually put the, uh, the fork mount cameras, which really was cool with the wheel and down low on the ground. So anyway, that's our gear. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys because you've all been kind of watching what's going on and I just want to include everybody in, in this project. So anyway, um, there you go. All right, well that was everything uh, that uh, makes it all happen out here. Captures the moments, I guess. Um, I want to big, uh, say a big shout out to Jeremiah. Uh, he's the guy that actually puts all this together. So I, I get back, I send him all this stuff and he puts it all together and makes it look good. So that's him right there. Um, so uh, thanks brother, you're, uh, you're doing a great job. Um, also keep his family continued in, uh, lifted in prayer. Uh, they have a new baby uh, on its way and uh, any day now, so um, can't wait for new angel coming to the world. Um, also want to say thanks to Kyle. Kyle's uh, saved me uh, in so many situations uh, where I sometimes ride and I just keep riding. 
instead of doing a loop, I'll just point in one direction and go exploring. Then I get out 60 miles, 70 miles, and he has to come pull me out. Um, so thanks, bro, for that. Uh, Mom, love you, Mom, miss you, Mom. Uh, can't wait to see you again uh, soon. And to my daughter, Kaylee, love you, proud of you. Uh, again, can't wait to see you. So keep charging life, you're doing a great job. Um, to God, I, I, I'm humbled, I can't, I, there's no words to describe all you do um, for us uh, weak human beings. Um, so thank you for all you do, God. Uh, anyway, everybody, uh, stay strong and uh, we'll see you next week. All right, peace.